Episode 15, Off Track Podcast. We end this n- curse word because we don't want to curse within the first however many minutes of a YouTube video or else we get instantly demonetized. Uh, welcome back, Off Track Podcast. You might notice that there's one less person here today. It's just a pizza. <laughs> it's a pizza main J Ball episode. Uh, today we're recording. It's uh, June 6th. It is duke man's birthday so he's out par- partying uh the night away <laughs> at home <laughs> he's probably yes, tripping out has no idea where he is right now Made out of his mind yeah celebrating we were we were just in a call with him and <laughs> we started singing happy birthday to him and he instantly left the call <laughs> i didn't like my singing voice i don't know yeah it's all right, but we got a we got a, a judgment free safe space today for Pizza That's Man right. That's right, to baby. to voice all kinds of opinions that he will not get backlash or uh, push back to. Right, buffalo chicken sandwiches, the sandwich of the world. <laughs> and look at that, nobody to tell you no. <laughs> we're gonna do a um we're gonna do a an epi- uh, a bonus content Patreon episode where pizza makes us me and deacon his homemade buffalo chicken sandwich and we get to see deacon's irl reaction to uh sir, to that so patreon.com slash uh smc fix gear i believe i don't oh no it's patreon.com slash suck my cog um for bonus content we have all kinds of Bonus after hour episodes in there. We have J Ball study session, which gets posted a couple times a month, where I talk about uh, edits of the past and present, and the not future. That wouldn't make any sense. Right, right, right. But here we are. Today's episode brought to you by Fixated FGFS. Look at my new shirt. These shirts just dropped this week. It's like a like an acid wash kind of deal with the Fixated logo on the front. I'm about it. Super comfy, and I love these kind of washes. Also. Your boy, with this package, Richie is truly my fixie savior. Boom. Look at this. I got... Boom. Your boy's back in the game. Axel, baby. <laughs> Call me Axel Rose. I am so excited to get back on the bike, Pizza. Last last one in existence. And if anyone has a Master Bike Ho Hub, uh, was it 9 tooth, 10 tooth that you need? 10 uh, tooth. And tooth in the market, <laughs> hit your boy up because he needs a backup. Maybe this next axle, it breaks. Can't use it anymore. I think this is one of the ones that Richie actually made himself. I don't think this is from Bomb Track. Oh shit! Because well, okay. it's got it's got a solid axle this time, not hollow, which is why I am led to believe it's one that Richie uh, crafted himself. Because he, nice. well, <laughs> this marks the third axle he sent me over the course of my 26 inch riding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's, he's been guy breaking them nonstop. He's been saving my ass. Hey, three times since 2018 breaking axles. That's not terrible. No, I feel like you're, you're doing okay. You're doing okay, but yeah. still, it does not help that that is probably the last one you'd be able to get. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> somebody actually, somebody actually hit me up. I think in the like YouTube comments of the last episode, um, saying he had a bomb track axle. Oh well, shit. So I lied. I lied. They're out there. They're out there. They're just hard to find. You know what I was thinking? Actually, I was watching some old. Um, I was watching some old edits as I do because I am right. a fixed gear historian of sorts. Um, and I kind of miss having a heavier ratio. Not gonna lie. I s- You're weird. <laughs> I mean, I was on thirty ten, you know, for the longest time. Pretty heavy ratio. It made tech stuff really hard, but it made like park flowing and like big tricks so much easier, almost. Like yeah, you had more. And it looks, it looks good too. So. I was thinking like maybe twenty eight nine for the for the next ratio. Kind of you know? weird. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's true. You know, nothing's not stopping you. I mean, you are anything. Anything will work for you. So I think you'll be okay. We'll see. We'll see. If I can find a nine tooth hub, I might consider it. Also, exciting news for me, just for me, not for the community. But uh, 
new rims I ordered should be coming soon. Um, I kind of, I kind of, uh, messed up because I ordered rims and then they sent me a message and were like, Hey, these are out of stock, but we have these, but I, I didn't realize the message that message got sent. So I, it sat in my inbox for like two weeks. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was so upset with myself. I'm like, damn it. I could have had, could have had my rims by now. Oh yeah. This sponsor, this one also sponsored by liquid death instead of uh Tapa Chico today. Sorry, Tapa Chico, to cheat on you. Cheating on him, man. So, Pizza, you've had one session now since getting your new seat posts and straps. How did they feel? How did both of them feel? Um, I was actually, Adam actually did hit me up um, asking how they were, and I said they're very, very fucking comfortable. And they're, honestly, I think that I didn't realize how much I didn't, like, I actually have never had these straps before. These, these the mud flaps I, yeah the mud flaps I, I never had those before so i didn't realize i was like oh my god this is nice these <laughs> they're not they like cover your whole foot they're it's a lot easier they're really easy to slip into surprisingly they they hold on to my foot really well i think better than the little makeshift rows that i had most definitely um nice it's nice man it's nice it's nice. i just still got to find that little velcro piece i got to put on top of it. Sh- yeah we need some pizza slices on the top yeah i'm stoked to have i'm stoked to have them though i can't wait uh, that, now that you have your axle yeah i can't wait to get out and ride again so excited to continue riding um the pizza man edit will be premiered at the suck my comp <laughs> you should oh. No, we should set that like as a tentative date for like it has to be done by suck my comp. Uh, I mean November end of the year, yeah, that would very realistic. Sure. Mm-hmm. And then I could do it for myself too, because I want to finish an edit by the end of the year. I have some clips already, not a ton yet, but um, I think it's good to. If any of you are thinking about filming an edit for yourself, setting a date for yourself like I need it done by this is always a good idea because it's really easy to get caught up in like, Oh, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. And always striving for perfection. But realistically your edit will never be quote unquote perfect. So set a date for yourself, film an edit, whatever. Even if it's on iPhone, I suggest filming an edit. Um, pizza. I have exciting news to share with you. Um, I'll just read you a, a message I got. Dude, in a couple of days, the prototype will be completed production. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yep. <laughs> for, for, for what? For <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on a second. I know. I know. I, say, I, I kept that one from you. <laughs> Because me and Pizza, you know, and when Deacon's here, we like to, we riff before uh, we actually start filming the podcast. We talk about what we're going to talk about. I saved that one for Pizza. Um, you may be confused. The proto yeah, is the, finished with production? Yeah. That was it? Yep. Um, if you're confused about what we're talking about, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep you confused. <laughs> But just know, but just know something that we have been working on for a very long time. We've been very disappointed, and we've had ups and downs. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go. Please. Something is finally coming to fruition that we've been trying to work on for a while. Um, so just keep an, keep your eyes peeled. Oh, for I know exactly what you're talking about. Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Was excited. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Keep an eye out for announcements on that. Um, Cap- Captain Collective. That's all I'm going to say about it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I wanted to um, actually the the meat of this episode, what I wanted to what I wanted to talk about is uh, two weekends ago, I did my first track lacrosse race, completed it. The Trinity of Track event in uh, La- it was actually the track lacrosse was in Long Beach, which was pretty cool. And I close to home. It was very close to home, which was a pleasant surprise because I thought it was going to be all the way in like deep LA. Uh, right. And as the name would suggest, in the distance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And to put it simply, I was not prepared. 
for it <laughs> at all, dude. Because the reason I don't know this, I wasn't there. Um, I got I got kind of drunk the night before. <laughs> So, and I was way out in Marietta, couldn't make it back in time. I thought the event was going to be later at night because kind of with the, the scheduling kind of fed, I thought it was going to be later. So I was like, okay. What's going on back there? Um, <laughs> so I was like, okay, I, I, got to, I got it. I'll leave by two. I'll be fine. <coughs> Guy says, yeah, it starts at 11 or 12. Yeah, it started at one. I was like, oh, boy, I'm just waking up. <laughs> yeah out in Marietta, so it, I, it'd be like that it happens um you didn't miss much anyway you would have just watched me lose <laughs> uh as long as i was there to cheer you on while you're listening. thanks man so i did go to a course preview the week before and i was pretty like confident in the course itself i was like okay like there's some technical stuff it's mostly like straightaways though and I knew that I would have an advantage on the technical part, but then I would have an absolute disadvantage at the straightaways. One, because my gear ratio is pretty light and my bike wasn't really set up for like top speed. And two, I'm just not conditioned like that. I don't, I don't ride miles. I don't race. So it's kind of a lose, lose for me on the straightaways. Um, I get there, it's hot and dusty and there's two, in my division, which was men's track lacrosse, there were 12 uh, riders and we got split up into heats of six. So I'm racing against five other people um, at a time. And I line up, we, you know, three, two, one, go. And we all come out and I, and I end up second in the line. So I'm doing pretty well. We're going around the course. I'm keeping up with the guy in front. Um, someone passes me at one point. So there's two people in front of me and three people behind me. Um, right. somebody in the back actually got a flat almost instantly. <laughs> so, nice. hell yeah. so that, you know, takes out one person. Um, and then we get up to this part where we're like climbing a hill, climbing a hill, and then you have to go down a very steep part of the hill and both people in front of me fucking ate shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. They both crashed in front of my very eyes and I being, you know, having bike control, I just swerve out of the way while going down the hill and then hit the hairpin turn and take off. And first, then, then that's the, that's the lap. So I'm in first. I, the first lap I, I finish first. Okay. And then it's elimination style. Downhill. <laughs> Hold on. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> um it's elimination style so whoever finishes last in that lap gets eliminated and top three advance to finals so now i'm on the second lap um one person is eliminated i'm still going strong my body feels okay you know it's kind of an adrenaline rush but i'm still going um and then i get to you know i do a berm a big berm big berm then the hill climb to go back up to that spot and i start feeling myself getting tired like oh, cardio wise like my breath my heart was like okay but my legs were just starting to give out my legs are not conditioned to race they i am not i'm conditioned to box and i'm conditioned to do tricks but <laughs> the impact not not actually go for it yeah yeah okay exactly and i am going up this hill and i started to feel myself slowing down and then there's a person behind me and i just tell him i'm like i'm tired just go in front of me and i like <laughs> and i swerve off to the side let him pass and i and then we hit the hill um i do fine on the hill that's like the easy part for me but <laughs> the the that was like the hardest part for almost everybody else was that hill because it was pretty technical, a little loose, and you had to navigate it because it's a skinny path down a skinny path hill. And there's like half of it is like a trench and then it crosses over to another trench. So it's like you have to stay on the right side for the first half of the hill. And then when you get to the middle of the hill, you have to cross over to the left side. Um, that's easy for me to navigate. But these uh, also... I just want to say I put dirt tires, thick dirt tires on my, uh, my core tech, but the fastest guys in my heat were on regular track bikes with like 28 C tires, like no, no track low mods at all. 
So it's going for him. Fuck, fuck the dirt. Fuck the traction. Yeah, I mean, it probably contributes to why they fell on the hill too. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, then yeah. they would fall, get got right back on their bike, and then just would proceed to catch back up to me on the straightaway. <laughs> So maybe that was the downfall, dude. Maybe, maybe, maybe the knob. Yeah, I mean, or just especially the ratio. I think because I was running 40, 42, 42, 17, um, which is pretty, yeah, pretty freaking light. Pretty light. Yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. which is wild because I actually was gonna go even um, lighter than that. I was gonna go forty four nineteen, but then. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. The day of the uh, the practice, you know, the week before, I stripped my fucking profile hub. Again, this is the second profile hub I've stripped, and yeah. and it was the scariest part. I was going down the downhill I keep talking about, where everyone was eating shit. I was going down it. I tried to skid, and then all of a sudden, I'm in freewheel mode. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? I'm going freewheel down this scary. <laughs> death hill oh my god and i look down and i see my car my my lock ring is just completely off just hanging yeah it's just hanging on the axle and i'm like what the fuck just happened and i check and i tried to i had my tools with me so i try to like um crank it back on and it just keeps spinning it's it's stripped and that's an expensive hub too and it's the second time i've replaced it so yeah um that was the wheel set off of my volume thrasher so i need to find a new hub for for that bike which is major bummer so deacon lent me his uh his wheel with the master hub on it with a bolt on bolt on cog adapter amazing felt great um i had a blue back wheel which was kind of silly looking but it was better than a... maybe you need two master hubs you know probably <laughs> Yeah, huh. one for both. Okay, yeah, maybe. Well, I maybe mean, have, if you got two master hubs, it's your boy up. Yeah, if you have two master <laughs> hubs, please hit me up. I was actually thinking about getting another um, level components hub for that bike because the level hubs are fucking good. I've had no problems yeah. with mine at all. So I might just have to do that. But anyways, back to the race. We're on lap two, okay? We're going up the hill climb. I get past. Now there's two people in front of me again, go down the hill, but they didn't fall this time. Plus they were way ahead of me. So I come into lap two, third place. So I'm not eliminated yet. Mm-hmm. And then because one person got a flat at the very beginning and just got out. So one person got eliminated after the first lap. So that leaves four people total left in this final third lap. And I just, my body is starting to give up. My body quit on me, mostly my legs. My legs quit on me. The fourth place guy passed me at some point, and I get eliminated right before getting into the finals. So I could have made it to finals, but I didn't, and uh, my body quit. My legs quit, dude. Your legs legs quit. My My legs were so tired, dude. I have never felt that level of exhaustion in my legs ever. And then yeah. at some point I got a whole thing of dirt stuck in the back of my throat and I ha- I coughed for like, like after I finished, I coughed for like 20 minutes straight, just trying to hawk up this dirt that just lodged itself oh, in the back of my throat. Oh shit. Yeah. It was, it was kind of rough. And even if I did get into finals, my body would not have been able to make any kind of, uh, effort in the finals so i'm glad i didn't make it honestly like you know what chief you take my spot <laughs> yeah i, I probably i probably would have just given it to him anyway but it was a really fun experience uh some of the homies yeah. came out some of the fgfs homies came out like uh wavy baby was there and um some of the other some of the other guys i can't remember their names sorry if you're listening but uh they were the homies we had a little flat ground trick session in uh in the street afterwards that was really fun i was very out of my element all day and then i got back into my element with that which is uh always a nice always a nice place to be there's there's something about those like flat ground trick sessions with people that you don't actually get to ride with that much that are just really fun yeah yeah yeah. most definitely yeah 
you gotta start working on your flat ground tricks bro that's i swear that's like the key to like it progress i think my next flat ground trick i gotta start really attempting there's more backlashes because I, I i have the i i've almost let it a couple i just want to get them a little more consistent yeah i've i've seen you do a backlash i think once or twice it would be yeah i want to get it more consistent that's all it is but yeah i definitely have to step up my flat ground game. The key, the key with the backlashes is to actually lean back. And right, right. I know every time we try to teach you a trick or tell you to do a trick, we're like, dude, you need to be lean back way more than you are. Yeah, I don't. I, I just. Uh, <laughs> I know. I try it. I feel like I'm leaning back way, like I'm way back <laughs> there, and I'm just in essence, I'm just like. Oh. Yeah, when you watch the footage back, you're like, shit. I'm like not. <laughs> Fuck, dude, like, not at all. Like, I feel like my ass is behind my seat. Like, fuck, dude. I guess not. It's, all good. it's all good. Yeah, we gotta... I definitely have to come out. Well, we gotta do one of these flat ground sessions, like, before a ride or something. Yeah. True. It's where you learn. Also, we've been talking about starting, like, a, a monthly or bi biweekly um, trick track sesh. And when we start that up... You could bring the FGFS and just ride some flat ground, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm down for that. And or the birthday present. Birth cutter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. I'm like, birthday present? What? I forgot. What? <laughs> what birthday present, fucker? <laughs> yeah, we actually built that up and sold it and split the yeah. split the profits. So Fuck yeah, dude. Sorry, yeah, bro. It goes to our trip. <laughs> No, I'm excited. I'm excited for you to have a cutter. It's gonna, yeah, I, um, it's gonna be fun. I want to. I, I can't wait for the fuck around moments. Oh yeah, I still have that footage, that privileged bread footage of you, um, uh, doing a keo spin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't believe you. Did. I, w I wish it was in there with the uh, uh, that Deacon edit. That'd have been fucking uh, great. Oh yeah. Sure, dude. We released. Uh, um, that was that was fun. I'll use it for a privileged bread episode. But uh, we released a a Deacon trick track dad cam edit in case you are uh not caught up on all of the latest uh smc uploads so go to the smc youtube channel check that out it's got a lot of character in it got some good tricks uh deacon is one of my favorite people in the world to point a camera at he always performs <laughs> whatever it is uh, yeah he's uh yeah i was uh... Is that a, the, the one that, uh, the day you guys went with Kareem? Oh, I'm sad I missed that on that day. Oh, yeah. That was, fucking, that was, some fun. Oh, that was a good session. Oh, uh, so tomorrow, there's a certain somebody in town, someone we love. He's near near and dear to our hearts. His name's Babyface Bandit, a.k.a. Anthony Combs. Uh, Anthony Combs is in town as we are talking right now, and hopefully this doesn't fall through, but tomorrow he's supposed to come to my house we're gonna film a podcast episode today we're missing deacon and when we film that episode we will be missing pizza because pizza's what are you doing again i want to watch a new spider-man movie he's, yeah. he's watching he, he's watching spoderman spoderman yeah i'm excited for that uh it sucks but hey, yeah do it. it happens it yeah it's good, it's not good. It's not good. Is, is, uh, is lupe as into the all the superhero stuff as you are uh, I'm not really like it. It's I wouldn't say I'm crazy into it, but I know it's gonna be a good movie because we watched the first one, the first Spider-Man. That Miles Morales movie was amazing. So like, I've heard amazing. I've heard really good things. I'm not gonna lie, I've never I haven't watched it, but you gotta watch the first. One. First one's really good. It's uh it's it definitely a good definitely good intro movie to Spider-Man. I, I love that one. That was really good. Well, I didn't uh, I didn't watch the um the Spider-Man with like the all three Spider-Mans either. What was that one called? Homecoming? Uh, uh, it's uh No Way Home. No Way Home. Yeah. But this is different. Like this is this has nothing to do with that. This I know. Like I know. New just on the topic of Spider-Man, I just haven't watched shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched I haven't watched any Avengers related at all anything since um Endgame. You know what? Speaking, of, I think I didn't like. There was a really long drive that we did, where I gave you like the entire breakdown yeah. of Spider Man or like the the, the end game. That was. You totally did. <laughs> like, that was fucking boring. <laughs> no, but it like it killed the drive. Like it, like it like killed a lot of the time with the drive. 
That was funny. Yeah, where were we driving from? Probably like L.A. or something, deep L.A. I feel like it was something we went out. Maybe it was going. It was the day we went with Matt for sure, because it was just yeah. me and you. And yeah. We, had to, we went way far. I think it maybe it was that day we went to Riverside or some shit like that. Mm. Um. But yeah, that yeah, was funny. Yeah, that makes sense. No, it was good to get a breakdown of it because there's no way I'm gonna read anything about it. Right. 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 <laughs> so I don't mind. Marvel heads, sound off in the comments. Oh, this week, we're recording this on June 6th. It's a Tuesday. The Cortex drop on Friday. Ooh, Cortex, when, Cortex, yep. when, Cortex, we, Friday. We, Cortex Friday. We told you in the last episode that the restock was happening in large, but we didn't have a date yet. We have a date. It is, I th- I want to say. Nine, the ninth. Six, nine. Yeah, but there's a specific time. 9 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 9 a.m., 6 9 2023. If you're looking for a Cortex in large, get at the site. Actually, they're also not just having frames, they're having perks. Oh, yeah. So if you want a chops- chopstick, chopstick, chopstick. Yep. If you want a chopstick, <laughs> the site, 9 a.m., masterbike.co.com. Mm, Shameless plug. It's master, masterbike.co. Masterbike.co goes that. There. <laughs> yeah it's everyone's second chance everyone who slept on one and was like oh i didn't get cortex oh my life suck uh it's it's your turn i'm talking to you max <laughs> <laughs> max so large. you can't complain about your knees max Col- corcoran a max corcoran if, if you can't get the cortex you get the fork fork does beautiful things to your frame too that's true whatever frame you have honestly the fork is probably a good addition yeah it's a good time i get you one friday i'm still running my first version of the fork from like there you go when i got my first prototype cortex so speaks that speaks some volumes to its quality just saying is br- you do pull up bar spins times three. It's true. Forks used to be my number one thing that I broke on all my shit. Like, I broke, f- I had to have broken five plus All City forks while I was riding for All City to the point where I bought another company's fork while I was riding for All City. <laughs> I bought the blue Saudio fork. Yep. <laughs> like, I'm yep. so sick of breaking these forks Iconic, every other you know, month. Iconic. Iconic. You know what's funny? Iconic blue for J Ball. I know that my bike was just black and blue, but that's black and blue is one of my least favorite color <laughs> combinations. <laughs> I fucking hated the way that bike looked. Oh, no. Even that's at the funny. time. No, I, but that was iconic. I was like, everyone knew, everyone knew I was a bike. Everyone knew was yeah. That's yeah. True. I just did a, um, oh, yes. I just did a whole, uh, I just did a J ball study session about 700 C Joe McKeague actually episode two episode two three out now patreon.com three just kidding i goes to show i haven't been able to log in on the patreon <laughs> still episode three episode three right. episode three <laughs> yep uh i talked about how 700c joe was my entire influence on on fixed gear bikes i wanted to look like him i wanted to ride like him you know i bought yeah, i think everyone <laughs> everyone was you know i feel like joe's yeah people don't know man joe was joe was next to i feel like next to boothby before he went 26 yeah yeah they were top they were top top of the line man they were fucking they were holding the shit down those yeah and you came in and boothby and joe together were insanely progressive um i yeah about speaking of like uh old progressive writers i'm currently working on a little mini bio video on um tom lamarche actually yeah basically it's gonna be I, i was actually told the difference between a documentary and a video essay today um a documentary basically whatever your subject is in the documentary has a goal that they're trying to accomplish and in the documentary we're trying to we're we're going along the ride with them to 
for them to accomplish their goal or not. So this will not be a documentary by that definition. This will be a video essay about Tom LaMarche's riding career, what he's up to now, why he quit riding, all that stuff. Stay tuned to that. I'm getting Kareem to um, fact check all of my my script and my notes for it. But look out for that on not the Patreon, on the main YouTube channel. Um, Ooh, free content, free content. Free content. Uh, it's, it's also going to be kind of a... Um, proof of concept for the full documentary that I am still really wanting to work on. So I'm going to see if I can do this in a way that is captivating and cool to see if people actually give a shit about this stuff. No, no. Regardless of people giving a shit, I think the people would love to see it. We'll see. That fucking, in those two interviews at Woodward were fucking top tier. And that <laughs> I haven't rewatched those since actually, so I don't even remember what we talked about. Um, <laughs> I remember this Congo trying to start shit, bro, the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Boothby in the room. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. We, uh, <sighs> I interviewed Gus Molina and Congo for the documentary while we were at Woodward um, a couple of years ago. So, man, I was, we can say that it was a couple of years ago now. That's, oof, oof, yikes. Time goes by way too fast. If you're young, Cherish your youth because it goes by quicker, especially as you get older. Like, I'm turning, I'm turning 28 next month. It's crazy. I just turned 28. Yeah, we yeah. old, yeah. we old the man. <laughs> it's funny. All of our birthdays are like in like a month span almost. I know it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. July, is, July fourth. Yeah, that was gonna say. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking great. Thirteen, the sixth, and the and the fourth. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's and a nice little. Was is the thirty first? Yeah, we're crazy. We're crazy. Man. We're all out here. What? I was gonna say I do it to myself. I I, I love the uh, that I have. It's um my girl's birthday, mm -hmm. and it's my daughter's birthday, and then it's <laughs> my girl's anniversary. So my wallet. Oh, so so uh, so May is a tough month for you financially. May May thirty first to the twelfth. <laughs> R.I.P. Pizza's yeah. bank account. <laughs> um, <sighs> oh, an exciting an exciting uh, piece of info that we or I guess news to share with the people is we got we got a hold of the legend himself. The man of mystery, Matt Reyes. Oh, my dad be J -Bo. Oh, shit. Slow worm. We got... The man <laughs> of myth, the legend. We got a hold of... Ooh. We got a hold of Slow worm. I don't think we talked about this yet, right? Mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm. So, I have learned that the best way to contact Matt Reyes, no Instagram messages, no, no texting, no nothing of the messaging nature the best way to talk to him is to just call him and we were all at vans oh, and behold. we were all at vans the other night and i'm like i'm gonna just try to call matt reyes because i feel like it and i miss that guy was the first, no, there was there was it was a three it was a three first matt was first, was the first first Matt was, was first. Matt was first. Well, that's right. It was it was the three hardest people to get to get a hold of. We got a hold of Matt Reyes, the the ghost. We mm -hmm. got a hold of Mr. Jackson, Boat. Boat, Boat Gang. Um, got a got a hold of him. Walking his dog. Yeah. Fucking, what a freak. Dog, dog Shout out to and Boo. Then, fucking speak of the devil. <laughs> we got a hold of Joe McKee. Yes. Yeah. That shit was crazy. <laughs> yeah, Joe. Joe, we haven't talked to in a while. Yeah. So yeah, I fucking love that guy, man. He was a fucking. We're we're gonna get we're, go to we're gonna get Joe on the podcast. It's gonna be probably the funniest episode we'll ever drop. And we're also probably gonna have to cut a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bleep. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is Joe is a wild wild dude. I love oh, him. Oh man. Yeah, I fucking love that guy, man. He's always he's he's always been like an older brother figure to me cuz we grew up like or I grew up like riding with him and he was always like the cool pro rider that I that I knew cuz we were both on the royal team together and we always rode 
like almost every weekend together it felt like at one point and he taught me a lot he taught me a lot of writing wise and inspired me a lot and um yeah we have to get him on the podcast come full circle Dude, anyways back to it matt oh yeah reyes. yeah we gotta we gotta hold him at reyes he's doing he's he's doing well he's laying low Just took a took a break because everybody gets burnout um, took a break from everything fixed gear related, basically. Uh, but throughout this whole time that he's been pretty much radio silent, you know that he's still watching because sometimes he'll still comment on our stuff. And and that's always Being heartwarming. Before the podcast, well, I didn't think, I know. Before the podcast, when I tuned into the Discord, I saw that <laughs> you were talking to him again. Mm-hmm. That's and right. Just Matt Reyes. That's right. Mike Schmidt. Yep, I I fa- right before me and Pizza started filming this today, right now tonight, I FaceTimed Matt Reyes because I wanted to talk to him about a couple things, and he answered, and he was with Mike Schmidt, <laughs> super co- coincidentally, which was incredible to talk to those guys, because uh, literally, like you know, like Joe McKeague was like one of my inspirations. Those two guys were also insane inspirations. Because they were kind of that same Joe McKeague, like old school um, era, really. And I looked up to those guys a ton. And the fact that they're friends now is just like honestly insane. Yeah. And yeah, they were together. Them, yeah. It's crazy. And, and them being each other's managers, quote unquote. <laughs> so, yeah. They approved each other to oh. be on a certain podcast. Yeah. We're to you know we got connections here at at off track podcast so we get the we get the best of the best guests just <laughs> saying look at you paul look at you slow spin society <laughs> this is gonna be on our podcast yeah <laughs> look i don't want to rub it in their face yet until it actually happens <laughs> i don't want to rub it in their face yet also speaking of which you guys check this out you ready there has been a date set this weekend. Slow spin society. Off track. Yep. Yep. Date's been set. Round one fight. Yeah. Fault, Ed. Yeah. We are. Saturday, a, we're, Sunday. Sunday morning. We're officially filming our collab episode, which will be probably a Patreon um, exclusive so um, i think on their side uh, i'm not too sure yeah we don't know how those it's all gonna work out yet but we're not we're not greedy we don't really care maybe it'll only be a, a slow spin exclusive who knows we don't know but it's going down it's going down yeah you yeah. fix 24 times in those it's the seconds that's the um that's the fixed gear civil war but i i actually brought up the uh matt reyes facetime not just to flex I mean, like a little bit to flex, but um, just a little update on Matt. So he moved back to the city, San Francisco, and he says that he wants to, uh, first of all, he says he rides his bike every day. So he hasn't been off the fixed gear, which is great news because that means he's not rusty and he's the goat as always. But uh, he says he wants to come back to content um, relatively soon whatever that may mean. So, um, you know, not holding my breath necessarily, but uh, Matt Reyes, Matt Reyes still is out here in the streets, bro. We love him. He will always be the mayor in our hearts. Rough when? Sleep, sleeper when? when? Sleeper when? They're literally probably going to sell out as quick as the Cortex. When's coming to me? yeah yeah you're getting one uh it'll be much it'll be much smaller batch probably than the cortex not probably definitely smaller batch than the cortex so that's part of the reason why it'll sell what am i gonna get what color am i gonna get (laughs) you gotta figure that out dude i think i get raw so i could paint it yeah that's that's big brain move let me that come over i'm definitely taking a day to come over so we can paint that bitch i can't do that shit here uh, you're gonna paint it here you can't paint it here why not fucking spray paint all over my garage 
Nah. nah, I'm good with that. I did perfectly <laughs> fine with my parents' house, so I got it. I got. It. I, I, I've done it like five times. We'll be fine. All right, all right. But also, why not leave it raw? Also, also, you'll have to look like yours. I don't even have a raw bike anymore. I, well, that's true, huh? I never had a raw bike, but if I get it raw, then I can finally paint it the color that I've always wanted it. So. It's true, but you you still have to like sand it and stuff. There's like a clear coat on it. That's fine. All right. Okay. So what? Yeah, what? Do you have a specific uh, like build in mind? Do you have color a colorway in mind? Like all because I know you want to do like a blue frame kind of right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of blue with some chrome. Um, I do have a chrome chain. Um, thinking about maybe. I don't know. Uh, we can trade bars. Getting, yeah, we could trade bars. Um, I, I might be getting a chrome fork or a new fork, so we'll see. In the works with talking to somebody about getting a different fork. I don't know if it's going to be chrome. I don't know if it's going to be black. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're, you're glossing over that. You're like a sponsor? Well, you're, what are you, you're tra no, no, a trade? What are you no, doing? No, 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 no. A, tr a trade, a trade. Yeah, a trade. Okay. Talking to, talking to a friend. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of want to do some chrome. Uh, maybe throw a little bit of chrome accents in there. Maybe get like a, maybe you can keep your bars. Maybe get a chrome stem or something. I'll get a little spice in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool. Tell me, tell me. No, hold on. I think I have something. Hold on. Uh, I have to move. Hmm. Well, okay, okay, okay. Well, what I was thinking would be cool if you're talking like chrome accents, like you know, chrome stem, chrome seat post, chrome, I don't know, sprocket or cranks or something. The chain being like silver would be cool too. It'd be clean. Yeah. But check this out. Maybe I can finally use this. You ready? What you got? Tell me. Oh. Is that Ode blue blue Odyssey stem? It's a blue Brock stem. How, when you know, I could use it with this. How? When did you get that? How long have you had that? Uh, a long time. I had it on my BMX and word. Um, I was like, when I sold it, I was like, "There's no way I'm not. I'm selling it with this on there." So nice way to pull that. Finally, maybe I can finally use this. Oh, that would be so hard. Yo, with like chrome. Oh, I got it, bro. I got it. <laughs> chrome chain uh -huh. with the blue bike. This right here. Blue chrome stem. headset spacer. Yeah, yeah. And maybe I can stand. Maybe I can stand the seat post. So that's like raw chrome. No, dude. I have a um. I have. You should just get a. It's not the same. Just get a chrome seat post. Oh wait, I guess we just we just got you a black seat post, but no, 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 I don't want to do that. No, no, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, we'll see. Yeah. Maybe I just go all black. Maybe we just go all black with those two blue blue pieces. That What's so two blue pieces? Yeah. So the the frame and. The oh okay okay yeah, that'd be kind of, that'd be kind of sick. Dude, that would be. Hold on. Fire. Let me let me um. Let me recreate if Deacon was here right now. Okay, ready? Yeah. Trash, bro. I color with trash. <laughs> no, 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 wait. I'm going to say it. <laughs> I, I, pizza, I'm gonna say pizza, it. I'm going to say it. Those That colorway is trash. Okay. That boo-boo, boo-boo oh, garbage. No, wait, hold on. He's going to be like, why are you copying my build, bro? Why are you copying my build? <laughs> my, uh, what was it? My, uh, what is that one fucking frame, that blue frame you had? Why are you copying my build, bro? You had a blue frame? I don't remember. Uh, a Capone? But it wasn't like, it was a light blue. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that. I think I bent, uh, I bent his shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I bent his, I think uh, I bent his... Did you have a concept? No, Cap it was a Capone. It was a Capone. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, I'm excited, dude. I gotta get... That's cool. Maybe I, maybe I can just do like this. I wonder how much it would cost to do anodize blue on a frame. I don't think you, you... Yeah, but you, you can't anodize chromoly. Anodize is an aluminum thing. I'm gonna get... Okay. I'm gonna get as close as I can. So you got, you got a powder coat. Yeah, I'll probably do it. I know, I know the place to do it. 
that one uh, that one BMX shop in uh, Oh yeah, the secret. Riverside? Yeah, it's, no 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 no. The, there's a different one. Oh. Not the secret. I don't know. Anyways. Sick. Dude, seeing your um seeing your blue stem reminded me of the the Odyssey Sean Sexton stem that I had that was on my BMX that got stolen when I was in college. Uh. Sad. really sad about that to this day the rest of the bike fine take it mm-hmm. whatever it was a custom colt bike with quattro bars it was so good it felt amazing but my sexton stem come on yeah Ugh, that bike uh, is still out topic, there somewhere also on topic the sean sexton seat was probably one of the most comfortable seats that ever came out in the game i never sat on it so Dude, I wouldn't know. Kyle had one. So, Sacramento FGF or Sacktown FGFS put out a um, an update because we we talked about the uh, competition that might be happening in Sacramento. Uh, we're like, oh, not sure if it's really happening anymore, but it's confirmed back on. Not back on. It was never off, but it's confirmed still on uh, July first, I believe. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah. July it's July first. Meet at Velo Trap the um the bike shop in sacramento uh they're gonna have a good event norcal show up uh, if you're in any somewhat surrounding area go support the scene events are very few and far between so uh very important to show out and make make the people who throw the competitions uh feel like it's worth it to them yes sir yes sir and we were going to go, but it got announced a little bit late, and I have plans that I can't uh, reschedule, unfortunately, for that weekend. Plus, it's my birthday. It's my birthday weekend, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it low key around here. We get J Ball drunk. Let's go. Twentieth <laughs> <laughs> birthday, J Ball gets drunk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm turning. I'm turning. Uh, you just turned twenty eight. I'm turning twenty eight. Uh, we are fixy old, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Like I remember, I remember when I was just younger, whatever, early twenties, and I remember thinking, twenty-seven and twenty-eight is like when you hit that age, you are officially old, like adult. You're officially full-grown adult. I, for me, it's for me, it's twenty-eight because you're finally in like your late twenties. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. You're like, yeah, I'm sorry I just ruined that for you, but we are in our late twenties, dude. Oh. Yeah, I know. And we're still riding bikes that don't stop pedaling. Oh yeah, baby, fuck my knees. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Um and then all of the all of the FGFS pros we looked up to in our teens are now in their thirties, dude. Oh, yeah, you fucking old fuckers. Old asses. Yeah. yeah. I like calling them old men. Is that like, I feel like they were our age now when we were like young and looking up to them and they were, it's it's funny that it's it's crazy that like now we're their age looking down at the kids that are coming up in the scene now, you know, that's that's funny. We're, we're older than most of them at this point. Like I remember when I was, um, when I was like 17, I was riding with a JD and I remember him specifically saying to the camera, because he was like in pain or something, he, he was like, 22 hit me quick. Can you open this 22 hit me uh, quick. Um, <laughs> what? No, I can't hit me too no, quick. No. Like he was 22, <laughs> dude. And, you know, JD was like a lot older. And looking back now, 22 is so young. <laughs> yeah, lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. Max definitely started hurting at 22, though. Fuck it. Yeah, I can't. I've. I'm not gonna lie. I'm. I'm kind of blessed with no back problems. It's, um, I. Li- I don't like to. I don't like to flex that too much because I feel bad for people. Different job path. It's all good. It's all good. Hey man, I sit in a desk all day now. Yeah, I, I stand behind a computer, which is kind of nice. I'm in the AC finally. I made it. I made it, baby. I'm in the AC all day. Let's go. Hey, that's a that's a step above me, kind of. I don't have AC. Eh, do you have that nice office space really you guys have got ac or okay nothing? we do have ac but i can't like run it because i can't really run it to its full potential because other people in the office get cold oh dude <laughs> so dude oh my god 
I had this old guy at my work. It's, it's funny because it's just the seven of us, and like my boss is a fucking chill, and we have like total access to like the AC panel, so it's like. I don't feel like my dad's gonna yell at me and touch the AC. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, this, but this guy is like, oh, it's so fucking cold in here. He turns this shit up to like 79. Oh, that's hot. What the fuck are you doing, dude? That's like literally heater. So that's a heater. Like, what are you doing? It's so like fucking turn this shit down to like 72. Sometimes I'm like, fuck you. I'm turning this shit to seven, uh, 68. Like, I'm, t- I'm trying to be cold as fuck in this place. He, yeah he complains and I, i'm gonna complain right back <laughs> yep yep i feel you oh i saw this tweet this is probably the last topic for um this po- this episode uh there was this tweet that was like um uh, americans wouldn't be able to survive to survive a european summer have you did, did you see that yeah. <laughs> it's that little fucking the little uh what is that little roller coaster just yeah <laughs> the 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 spongebob we <laughs> i'm just saying if you're european and you're listening to this a fucking a california summer would melt you brother california is a desert is not yeah not but it, honestly we got it kind of good uh, if you if you really want to die you go to arizona you dude go to- n- no 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 i am okay maybe texas but i'm just i'm st- i'm quitting that conversation right now Arizona heat is different. It's dry. You got you don't sweat as much when you're in California. You're fucking drenched in sweat, and it feels like hotter. Cause I've been in Arizona during summers. It's it's very hot, yes, and your skin will burn, but it's not as like miserable as a California heat wave. There's something about it here, but Texas is probably worse. <laughs> I will say that. Yeah, I'm 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 very happy that so far the first half of the year it really hasn't been that hot. There's no, been it, a couple it's, hot days. It's been quite the opposite actually. It's been pretty like not cold by like most standards, but it's been gloomy and rainy. Yeah. Which is it's weird for here. Seventies for like the fucking six months, which is kinda nice. We've been living in the seventies for me. ten years, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of scared because once uh, June hits, uh, last year was kind of a fucking heater, man. It had a definitely a bunch of hot times. Bro, we're That's six weird. we're six days in. That June gloom is still hitting. I haven't seen the sun in like a month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying, if if any Europeans, Paul, want to argue with me uh, <laughs> about heat, you know, hit me up. We'll we'll talk. Actually, no. We can we can duke it out this Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got punched in the head a lot today, so I'm ready. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! I did a lot of punching, uh, also. So I swear it's not just me getting hit. I swear I can do boxing a little bit. Um, episode 15 of Off Track Podcast. Thank you for listening. Uh, we'll catch you maybe in the bonus episode. It might just be me because pizza goes to bed early these days. So, we'll see. Let's we'll see. I'm a, it's pretty early actually. I know. It's kind of early. It's today. a little early. Wow. Oh, look at you go. So, uh, catch you in the bonus episode. patreoncom slash cog. Thank you very much for listening to one of the only fixed gear podcasts on the market. Uh, J Ball, Pizza Main. We out. <laughs>